In today's video, we are making Italian style stuffed peppers. This recipe has six ingredients and takes less than 30 minutes to put together. It will definitely be a family favorite. First things first, we are gonna be cutting up our peppers. I have my oven preheating at 350 and we are gonna be cooking these for about 25 to 30 minutes. And this portion will serve about four adults. It is just myself eating this tonight, so I'll definitely have leftovers for lunch tomorrow. While our bell peppers are in the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up one onion. I think I'm gonna use about half of this onion. And then I am just gonna mince up three cloves of garlic. Into a hot skillet with one tablespoon of melted butter, we are gonna add in our onions and garlic and just cook this down until translucent. While our onions and garlic are cooking down, I am actually just gonna go ahead and clean up my station. You wanna make sure that you're working as you're going, that way when dinner is ready, you can serve it. You don't have to worry about cleaning up afterwards. Along with this, I do have eight ounces of cream cheese sitting out. This is what we are gonna use in replacement of the cheddar cheese or Parmesan cheese, whatever you usually use. Our peppers are sitting at about 11 minutes right now. So we should definitely have this mixture cooked up and ready to go once our peppers are done cooking. Now, typically all the recipes that I've seen for stuffed peppers, you would use ground beef, but I'm actually not a huge ground beef person and I absolutely love Italian sausage. So we are gonna use one pound of Italian sausage. For seasonings, we are gonna be using onion powder, Italian seasoning, and let me not forget that the parsley does not have a lid. Again, if you saw that video, oh my God. <laughs> and then of course, some salt and pepper. With our Italian sausage cooking down, I'm gonna add in one can of fire roasted diced tomatoes. With my mixture turned down to a medium heat, I'm gonna add in my eight ounces of cream cheese. And we, <laughs> and we are just going to smush this down until everything is combined. We're sitting at three minutes left on our timer. Okay, our pepper timer just went off. Let's take these out of the oven. They have a little bit of a browning on the side, but you can tell that they are pretty soft and pretty hot. So let's set these to the side and get stuffing. So obviously we have a lot more of the stuffing than we have bell peppers, but like I said, it is just myself eating this. So I'll have a lot left over tomorrow. So very carefully because this is very hot. You might wanna get like a cup towel or something. We are gonna stuff our peppers. I'm getting a lot of it in the napkin, but that is fine. I'd rather get it in the napkin than burn myself again. So with our peppers stuffed, I'm actually just going to place this back into the oven just for about five minutes or so. That way everything can get like toasted up a little bit, but this is totally optional. So I went ahead and cleaned up the leftovers and I have plenty, like I said. So I would definitely have enough for the next two days or so. After five minutes, they are out of the oven. Oh, it's pretty hot. It is very hot. I can already tell I am going to love this. It's everything that I like all in one dish. Cheese, Italian sausage, peppers, onions, seasonings. I mean, can you go wrong? It is very hot. I'm just letting you know, this is so hot. Let's take our bite. Cooking those bell peppers first definitely made a whole lot of difference. They're not like as like hard and crunchy as like normally stuffed bell peppers are. And I think that's why I don't really like the traditional stuffed, but maybe I'll try doing the actual stuffed cooking them beforehand. But as you can see, they are a little spongy, dripping out everywhere, making a mess again. So for a six ingredient, less than 30 minute dish, unless you got a toddler running around, maybe a little bit longer than 30 minutes, this meal is perfect. It's gonna be a crowd favorite, I guarantee it. But if you do need some more dinner inspiration, check out this video here of my green chili chicken with mini wonton soup. It is a mouthful, but it is a mouthful. I'll catch you guys there.